You know, just it's number one is I want to meet them. You know, I've been here for a week, and we, I first night I met the uh, at the rough, the, the roustabouts, the supporters group in their Christmas party. So that was a great, uh, you know, didn't have to worry about breaking the ice. They had already broken the ice a couple of uh, a couple of like, for an hour before I got there. So uh, that was great. Um, you know, I, I got on the microphone and spoke spoke to them for just a little bit, and I said that, uh, you know. One of the most important things about my career has always been, you know, soccer players, especially the way we were back in the day. We weren't making tons of money. We were pretty approachable and pretty available to the to the community and to the fans. And uh, you know, I know it's the same way here and in this league. You know, there's not too many guys who are so big time that they can't spend some time with the kids and with the the fans and hang out. And uh, you know, I told the roustabouts that. To this day, whenever I go back to RFK Stadium at, with DC United, the first thing I do is go up to the Barra Brava where the supporters group are, and I jump in there, and you know, hopefully you don't get a beer poured on you, but you get a beer and you get a scarf and you get a hat, and you're over there jumping up and down with them for you know as long as I as long as I hang out there. But uh, you know, I still feel like like I have never left, and like I'm a part of that team, and we want to we want to create that type of atmosphere here, and we want the 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 supporters and the fans and the community feel like, you know, they're a part of it all and they should connect. Hopefully they have a lot to cheer on and we, we're going to make it exciting and have enough uh, success and enough uh, of a high level on the field that they're going to buy into it and they're going to get excited and, uh, and support us. But more importantly, no matter what happens, you know, the team and the staff and, and I know the club already does a great job of integrated with the community and, and it's, you know, we'll experience it together. You know, I expect it to be on both sides of the house, the Anglo and the, and the Latin side, you know, I speak decent Spanish and, uh, you know, that was why I was taken under the Barra Brava's wing because I was running around with Marco Echeverri and Jaime Moreno and Raul Diaz Arce and, uh, you know, the, the bonds, the, you know, the ties and the, and the experience we had off the field with, with those fans and those supporters you know when I go back for any game I, I hang out with them whether it's at the game or in the in the pub after the game or just socially you know and I would hope that we have the exact same uh, experience here and something that people really value and the, the players are accessible enough and they get to know the players and really uh, identify with them and identify that this is this is their team and uh, and Tulsa is going to be, you know, I'm, I'm positive that it's going to be a, a great experience for both sides.